Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me to a few of my favorite thrift stores and also some new places that I haven't been to before, so I'm really excited about that. I am planning on throwing a tea party sometime in January, although I'm not 100% sure because I do have quite a busy schedule um, in January, but I'm going to do my best to try to have the tea party in January. If not, you guys will definitely see it in February, February but I want to start shopping for it uh, now, um, especially because I am off this week for the holidays, so I have that extra time, and um, yeah, I definitely want to take advantage of it and just go to a few thrift stores and look for a few things. I don't have... Um, I don't have a theme or anything in mind. Um, sometimes just going to the stores and looking at what they have helps me to kind of think of a theme or a certain color that I want to highlight um, just by looking at the things that are already available at the stores and what I can purchase. So you don't always have to have a particular vision, although sometimes that is the case. I might have something already in mind and I'm like, 100% this is what I'm doing um, but in this case I have a clean slate in my mind I'm not leaning towards anything I just want to see what's out there and just purchase um, a few things specifically the things that I'm looking for would be like a tablecloth or a, a runner or something that I could make a runner or a tablecloth from um, maybe some nice napkins definitely some uh, china plates because I I do have some um, but they are a particular pattern so I am looking for something a bit more neutral um, so I'm hoping to be able to find that and then just anything else that I can purchase to incorporate into the tea party I'm not gonna make any promises that I'm not gonna purchase any teacups and saucers or teapots. I don't really need any of those. I have plenty, but I'm not going to hold myself back from purchasing something that I absolutely love. Um, and that's the thing with me. Like I try my best not to purchase anything unless I absolutely love it and feel like, you know what, I'm going to regret not buying this. So there's plenty of teacups and saucers that I look at on a weekly monthly basis and i'm like that's beautiful but you know um i don't purchase it so it has to be something that i absolutely love and if i see that i will definitely pick it up so after i do uh, all the thrifting i will make sure to do a haul to show you guys what i got and like i said i'll take you along with me and show you some of the clips from the shops that i go to and i'll mention where these shops are located just in case you do live in new jersey and you want to visit any of those shops all right so i'll see you soon the first shop featured is called simply homes shabby decor and it's located on front street in keyport new jersey this thrift slash consignment store has an abundance of home decor items, and as the name suggests, the items sold here vary from older, used, shabby chic items to newer handmade items like candles and jewelry. Another keyport shop I visited is called Reimagine Home Design. This one is also located on Front Street. It's a thrift slash consignment store, and they sell clothes, furniture, and home decor. The items range from affordable to expensive, but some of the items in the store are refurbished and reimagined pieces that have been transformed and made like new. They have a lot of French country style pieces, which I absolutely adore, and they sell antique china and vintage clothing as well. The last store I visited in Keyport was called Family Treasures. Family Treasures is an antique and collectible store. They sell a variety of items, and of course, I was there exclusively looking for teacups and teapots, as well as other china pieces that I can add to my collection, but they do have a lot of different items. They have records, CDs, collectibles, clothing, lots of different items depending on what you're looking for. And then the last thrift store featured is in South Plainfield, New Jersey. 
It's called Unique and they are a big thrift store. They sell clothing, home decor items, books, furniture, toys, so many different things. Again, depending on what you're looking for, um, you can most likely find it in this um, pretty large thrift store, again, located in South Plainfield. All right, guys, so it's the next day, and I just wanna share with you the things that I purchased. I didn't purchase a whole lot, but the items that I did get, I absolutely love. So I just wanna share that with you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the items that I purchased at one of the uh, thrift shops in Keyport. I purchased all of these items from the same thrift store and we're gonna go ahead and start off with this beautiful um, serving plate serving dish that I got um, from the store it was um, $19 but the gentleman was nice enough to let me have this and the next dish for $30 so he charged me 15 and 15 if you're following me on Instagram then you did see the day that I posted um, and I shared these items on Instagram already I'll make sure to leave my Instagram post uh, on the screen uh, somewhere so that way you can follow me over there if you have an Instagram but this is from the Royal Albert old country roses collection and it's really beautiful I love this little uh, heart detail that it has here and this is just really cute, really sweet um, for serving uh, some, you know, small bites, some small sandwiches, small desserts, but it's really, really cute, very practical, and I know that I'm going to get good use out of it. The next item, like I said, is also a dish, but this is kind of like a baking dish, actually, and I'm excited to use it because I love the little scallop detail here. Um, I can see myself making like... A tart or a quiche or something um, in this in this bowl uh, in this dish not a bowl but very very cute I love again the old country roses print and then it also has this really green color here on the edging I'm not sure if you can see it but it's a really nice green color and really really nice um, like I said this one was it was like either 16 or 18 dollars but again the guy gave me this um, this one and the other one, 15 and 15, so it was $30 in total, so that was a good buy. Then next, I got this. Now this has, you know, these are not really, um, you know, tea wear, right? But this is so cute, I couldn't pass on it. And um, there are these cute little adorable shoes. This is also from Royal Albert, but obviously it's a decorative item. I don't see myself using it necessarily um, at a tea party, but you never know, right? Um, most likely I'm just gonna use it as decor around my house, but I just think it's super cute. Um, it comes with, you know, two little uh, pairs of shoes and these were $10 for the pair. So couldn't beat the price. I thought they were super cute, so I picked them up. All right, um, then I looked through all of the other um, thrift stores that I shared previously, and they had beautiful stuff. But you know, I did say at the beginning of the video that I was targeting certain specific things. And so while there was a vast amount of gorgeous items that I could have purchased, I was sticking to my purpose in being at the store, which was to buy some items for a tea party that I wanted to throw in January. So lots of beautiful things um, in the other stores, but I didn't purchase anything else at Keyport um, while I was there. I just kind of just took the time to browse around, take a look, saw again, lots of beautiful things. But I ended up going to the other um, thrift store that I shared in South Plainfield, Unique, and there I was able to get a few more items that I absolutely love. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I bought this curtain and of course it comes with two panels. I only need one. So I'll probably just give the rest of like the other panel to my sister. So if you've seen my previous videos, um, I had purchased a curtain, a different curtain 
uh, previously and my sister made a table runner for me because she sews. I don't sew, but my sister sews. So if I ever need anything, she can make it for me. And I, of course, would have loved to purchase a table runner that was already made. But if you know how to sew and you don't find a table runner that you like, you have the option of going to a thrift store and finding any kind of old, you know, cloth that's, you know, curtain or blanket or whatever, and you can make it into a table runner for your table. So I found this um, panel. It's again, it's two of them, and originally the price was twelve ninety nine, but I got it on sale because they were anything with a blue. Uh, ticket was 25% off. So uh, it was $10 and some change. And um, I love the color. It's like a really pretty creamy yellowish. Um, it has like some gold tones. And the reason why I got this one in particular is because of the napkins that I found. So um, like I told you in the, you know, pre in the first part of the video, I didn't really go in with a plan as to how I wanted to throw the, the tea party and what theme or color scheme I was going to use. I had no idea, but it's all falling into place. Yesterday, I was really impressed by like that pretty green color here. And then when I went to this thrift store, I found these napkins. So let me just go ahead and show you those. I found these napkins and it was $2.99 for, let me see how many there are. for four. So $2.99 for four napkins and I just love this green color. It's so beautiful. I think it's like very wintry, very um, like cozy, but at the same time very elegant and vintagey. I love the way that the napkin match with this, um, you know, for with what's going to be the table runner. So I love the, the green color and that's the reason why I ended up picking this um you know curtain panel because of the napkins so once i saw these na these napkins i was like yeah i'm definitely gonna stick with um something with green and these uh, beautiful like warm tone colors there's a little bit of like burgundy in there which i really love and again the gold tones and everything like that i really really love this pattern i hope it I hope the camera is doing it justice because it's really, really nice. And I just love the way that it looks. It's very vintagey to me. And that's the kind of feel that I'm going for this tea party. I want it to be, now that I have these pieces, I know in what direction I'm heading. And I want it to be very uh, vintage-like. So I love the curtains and the napkins. I also purchased, while I was there, these rings, and I have no idea what these rings are. At first I said, oh, these rings are probably napkin uh, napkin rings because they were right underneath the the napkins, but, I also, I, but then I noticed that there were some other rings close to it that were actually um, bathroom curtain rings, you know when you have a shower curtain and you need the little rings to hook them up. They were right next to those, but that's not what this is either because it doesn't have the little hook. So I have no idea what these are. Some of the rings are smaller. Some of them are much bigger. <laughs> but I'm just going to use them as napkin rings for those napkins, like I said, I think that the gold color helps to pick up um, and kind of accent the green as well as the colors in the curtain. So I'm trying to open it so you guys can see the size. Again, it's a little bit smaller than your traditional napkin ring, but I'm going to, I have an idea. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what it's for, but I'm going to use it as a napkin ring and I'm going to do like a DIY finally got this thing open. So again, it's not really big, um, but it kind of like unclips here. But in any case, 
I'm gonna hide this because what I'm gonna do is I, I plan on buying some uh, flowers, like just some small, pretty, uh, vintage looking flowers that will match with the napkins and with the curtain. And I'm gonna just use these as napkin rings because again, they're not the, you know, traditionally the, the bigger size, but I think it'll look good with the napkin. Let me show you. I'm trying to be delicate because I don't want any holes in the in the napkin and they kind of like stapled the price tag on. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much time trying to <laughs> take the staples out. I wasn't able to. I don't want to damage the cloth, but it does fit. Like I can, I can fit the napkin in there and it will look nice once I have like the flowers and everything. So, and this was less than a dollar. I think these were like 99 cents for the full bag, which I could, I could even make like a bunch of them and give them as gifts, you know, to family and friends. The original price was $1.99, but again, um, based on the color, there was a percentage off, so it came off to 99 cents, which was a perfect buy. And for those three, actually, I did purchase one more thing, but it's not, again, related to the, the tea party. It's just, I really like to get like, small gifts and things like that from the thrift stores if i can find something that's obviously new and good quality they do have new items at thrift stores things that people have never opened or used and i found this box of um inspirational cards so this one's called Grati grateful no this one's called gratitude cultivate a grateful heart and um i don't know i like to have like little things around the house but if I, you know somebody's having an anniversary or any kind of special occasion and I just want to give them a, or maybe just I want to give someone a gift right it's always nice to have the things around the house that I can put together you know put it in a little basket or a bag with other things and just kind of combine everything so this was a dollar 99 the items that had an orange tag were not didn't have an additional percentage off but still two dollars is really good for this um and yeah who doesn't like to have, you know, some type of inspirational saying around them? And so I think this is cute to have maybe like at your desk or something in an office. So I bought that. So for those four items, I spent less than $20, which I think is really great. And there was one thrift store that I really wanted to uh, go to, but unfortunately they are closed this week so they don't open until after the new year <laughs> um which is fine everybody deserves some time off but that is actually one of my favorite uh, thrift stores i always find really great things there and um, i really wanted to go but unfortunately it didn't work out so i figured i would just show you some of the items that i have purchased from there again just in case you are in living in new jersey and you want to check this out this this store is called Bridge Life Thrift and it's in Matawan, New Jersey. And I always find the most precious teacups there. So I just want to show you some of the teacups that I found recently. Uh, these are actually new to my collection and you would not have seen them um, in my uh, collection video. So I have two of those and I'll make sure that I leave a card so you guys can check those out if you haven't seen them yet. But I have shared my collection before. These items are new, and so I will share them with you now. And these come from that thrift store. So I will go once they open up next week. I will stop by. Um, I just obviously won't be uh, vlogging it. But I do need some more things for this tea party. I got some nice items. I have my inspiration. I know which direction I'm going, but I'm definitely going to have to buy or purchase some more items but I just wanted to show you what I do have from there again just in case you are in the area and you want to check them out they have really great quality stuff so this teacup I got um, a couple months ago I want to say probably in the summer sometime and this is a Royal Albert teacup this is 
it still has the, <laughs> the price tag on it. I have to take, take that off. It's, it was, <laughs> I haven't used it yet. That's, that's why it's still there. Um, but it was $12 for the cup and the saucer, which again, I think is a really good price, um, for the teacup. And it's from the forget flower of the month series. And this one is forget me not. And the reason why I got this one is because it's from the month of July. Um, I mean, I love the colors and the pattern is beautiful. I have some other teacups that have like these blue tones to them as well. But the main reason why I got this one is because uh, the month of July is my husband's birthday month. So very special. I have one for October, which is my birthday month. And so when I saw this one that said July, I was like, definitely have to get that. And uh, if I find any other months that are, you know, special or significant, I'll definitely get those. Um, but for now, I just have the October and the July one. So I got that there. I purchased this uh, teacup and saucer from there as well. You might have seen this one in a previous video. Um, I think it was in like my fall um, video. I did like a fall tablescape, a fall themed tea party. And I had this as a decorative piece, not so much that I was using it um, to serve tea in, but more of a decorative piece because I, I love these um, purple burgundy tones and that's usually how I decorate for the fall with those colors. So these are not, they were sold together as a set, but they're not from the same, uh, they're not from the same set. So this one is a Four Seasons Royal Albert and it's called Autumn, which was fitting, but this one is also from the Four Seasons collection, but this one is winter. Um, and you can't see the details in the camera, but there's like, you know, a nice little uh, cottage home with snow and kids playing out in the snow. So this one's winter and this one's autumn, but the colors are, you know, very, very similar. You can't really tell. So I use them together as a set and this was also under $20. So I got this at the same um, thrift store. And then the last one that I got, this was the the one that I most recently got maybe a month ago. I don't go very often, but I want to say maybe every month, right? Or um, every two months, I try to go and see what's new and what they have. But I found this teacup and saucer, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the blue. It really reminded me of like Cinderella and her dress. So I was like, I have to get it. It's a Royal Albert. It's from their True Love collection. And this is what the teacup looks like and the saucer. Very cute. This one was a little pricier. I think it was $25, but still very good price um, in my opinion for the teacup and the saucer. So I really like that. So those are the teacups that I purchased from that place. And I would say if you are on the hunt for like a nice, uh, you know, they have a lot of things there. They have clothing, they have home items. If you want a good thrift store, definitely check them out if you're in the area. But that's everything that I purchased at the thrift store for um, this future tea party that I'm planning. I hope that you guys enjoyed everything. Um, let me know in the comments below which item was your favorite. And um, I also did post on Instagram recently, um, like just kind of like ask me questions kind of post because I'm thinking of, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of an idea for a video. In any case, um, I just wanted to ask you guys if you have any questions that you would like for me to answer um, in this sort of Q and A type uh, video that I'm thinking about doing. Um, go ahead and leave me your questions in the comment section below and I would be happy to include those questions in that video. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, consider doing that. Um, also consider checking me out on Instagram. Make sure to like this and comment below. All right, have a great day guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.